And hi guys, thanks for watching. Today, we're gonna to be making some Fast and the Furious cars. We're gonna turn this Supra into something like this. We'll also be turning this Charger into something like this. Now they do already make Fast and the Furious Hot Wheels models, including the Supra and the Charger. As you can see, I've got a premium Supra here and a mainline Supra here. However, the one that I'm gonna to make today, I'm gonna to cut the roof off and make the aero top. And same again with the charger. They make a mainline charger and a premium charger. So essentially today is just gonna be a bit of fun and see what I can do. So I do quite like the paintwork on this charger and I was hesitant to strip it down. However, I have picked up another spare one, so we're going to strip it down and see how we go. And as you can see on the Supra, the lines on the roof are a perfect mark to cut the roof off. So I start with a smaller drill bit just to drill a pilot hole into the metal bars that look like rivets. This seems to make it easier in the next step when I use a larger drill bit. And I just slightly move the drill bit around to take off the metal needed and then use a screwdriver where needed to chip away. This is a part that I like to take my time because the last thing you want to do is drill into your plastic. And same again with the charger. When you reassemble the Hot Wheels cars, there's two ways you can do it, but I'll show you that later on in the video. One is with super glue, and the other is with screws. And just drilling some pilot holes for later on when I reassemble it and use screws. You can buy premium rubber wheels and tyres to replace the standard ones. They do look a lot better. However, I do like to race my cars and the standard wheels do just move a lot faster. And the bodies of the car just go into a jar of standard paint stripper from your local hardware. And I left these for about half an hour and the paint comes off quite easily. I do wear chemical gloves as I don't want paint stripper on my fingers. And something to scratch the excess paint off in all the nooks and crannies. After they've had a good clean, I give them a spray with wax and grease remover and a final wash down. And both looking pretty clean and clear of paint. And using a hacksaw following the lines to make the arrow top through. And the saw was a bit slow and painful, so we switched it up. And just grinding down all the sharp edges making it a bit neater. And cutting the plastic glass out to make the aero top. I usually find about three coats of paint usually does the job. I usually just use spray cans purchased from a local automotive store. I find if you don't buy a cheap can of paint, you usually get a fairly good finish. And same again on the charger, however, the last coat, I do apply a clear coat. And cutting out as closely as I can to the edge of the water slides. After the water slides are applied, I apply the clear coat. Yeah. 
One thing I have found is that headlights are extremely hard to paint. And these look a little bit hideous. You can order water slide headlights and I'll definitely be doing that in future. And a little bit of colour to the interior, especially for the aero top as we'll be able to see inside. And on the Dodge Charger, using the screw method to put them back together. I did however snap one of the screws in one of the holes, so I'll need to glue that side. I am still fairly new to customising Hot Wheels and this is probably only my fourth attempt now, so if there's any tips that anyone has, please feel free to leave them in the comments. The only step I did miss is after I applied the water slides, I did spray the Supra with a clear coat, which gave it a nice glossy finish. But overall pretty happy, apart from the headlights, and as I said, next time I'll use water slides. And I will be using my custom Fast and the Furious Super and Charger in a special video coming up, so if you'd like to see it, please subscribe. And if you'd like to see any more customs, I'll just give you a sneak peek of a few others I've done. So just let me know in the comments below. And if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.